Today is Tuesday, April 21st, and you're watching an SCW News Digest. Controversy on the Stockton Unified Board of Trustees today as multiple sources tell us CW News that trustees will vote on firing their superintendents. The board has a special teleconference meeting scheduled for 5 p.m. this evening. A closed session item on the agenda says public employee discipline dismissal release. While the district cannot confirm whether or not that is in fact Dr. John Dacey's future that will be decided, multiple people now tell us that that will be happening tonight. Dr. John Dacey was hired by Stockton Unified in 2018. His contract has not yet expired with the district. A petition online to keep Dr. Dacey in the district has, has already gathered more than 1,100 signatures. Some have even called for the resignation or recall of some school board members. We have filed a Public Records Act request to obtain a copy of Dr. Dacey's official employment contract with the district, which could hold more information including costs associated with dissolving the contract early, but we're still awaiting a response on that. As soon as we get additional updates, we will pass those along to you here and across our social media platforms. New numbers today from the San Joaquin County Department of Public Health. According to the department, 449 cases of the novel coronavirus have been confirmed in this county. The death toll stands at 18. That is an increase of 21 from this time yesterday, but only an increase of three cases overnight. In a press conference, Governor Gavin Newsom said that tomorrow he will update the Californians on how the state is doing in six different areas that he says are crucial to opening up California. That promise was made right as hundreds of protesters gathered at the state capitol in Sacramento demanding that California be opened back up. Newsom also did speak about letting some counties ease their restrictions, for example, letting Ventura County in Southern California open up golf courses and parks. Coming up after the break, new incentives for hospital staff during this busy time, how St. Joseph's in Stockton is giving their employees more rewards for working. Welcome back. This pandemic has certainly proved to be very dangerous and busy for medical workers. Many of them have had to work extra hours to keep up with hospital demand, which means less time to do other things such as shop for essential products. Well, St. Joseph's Medical Center in Stockton is hoping to change that. The hospital opened up a mini grocery store just for their employees. The store is fully stocked with hard to find items, which include toilet paper and certain food items. The shopping process is quick as well with only a few shelves of supplies and a fridge. Nice to see that those workers are getting what they need. Thank you for watching this SCW News Digest. I'll see you back here tomorrow with more news from Stockton.